Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am Sabira aka Sabi the Simmer. Welcome back to the channel. So I haven't gone for a week. I just needed time for myself. I needed a break. I needed to just enjoy the sims without thinking about creating content for a little while. And I did that. I feel better. I'm ready to get back into it. Let's go. <laughs> but anyway, I am starting the Family Dynamics Challenge. I'm excited to get it done. I'm excited to start. I do love me a little legacy challenge. I do love me some family gameplay. So this is right up my alley. I'm just trying to make sure it works well when I want it to be entertaining and like with my console sounding like it's about to take off. Just trying to figure out how to record without it sounding, having an annoying fan sound in the background. So we're going to try and do that. <laughs> Bear with me as we figure it out together. So I'm going to get into our sim, but with the family dynamics challenge, there is basically 10 generations of the legacy and each generation has traits they have to have, an aspiration they have to have, a career they have to have, and a bunch of rules that they have to follow as well. So with our sim, the first generation is the white, pit white, white picket fence. Why can't I say that generation? And they have to be outgoing, a foodie and family orientated. They also have to have a successful lineage for the aspiration and the career. They have to be in the culinary career and they have to be in the master chef branch. And in terms of rules, they have to have five gold star dinner parties, master the cooking and baking skill, marry at a young, at a young adult and stay married until basically they pass. And they can have up to three to four children, maintain gardening, Maintain a garden, sorry, with at least 10 unique plants, including a cow plant, and complete at least three parts of the four part aspiration that they have. So that is what you have to do for generation one. So this is just the introduction. This video is really just gonna introduce the sim, their backstory, and then we're gonna talk a little bit about their home and everything like that so we can get to know the sim a bit better. So I never normally play with male sims. I normally play with like female sims. So I decided to start this challenge off with a male sim. So we have Kwaku Botang here. I'm probably saying it really English. There could probably be an accent that probably needs to be added in there. If you're Ghanaian, I apologize for butchering a name. <laughs> but we have Kwaku Botang and he is Ghanaian, as I as I mentioned. That is the kind of inspiration I had for him and maybe his like heritage. Well, not maybe his heritage, but his heritage and his background. And I just feel like I need to know the sim a bit better, like on a deeper level to like play them. So that's what I did for this one. And fun fact, Kwaku actually means they're born on a Wednesday. So I just thought that was cute to add in as a little fun fact. Um, also another one, <laughs> he is never ever gonna see this video. I highly doubt it, but I did have a crush on a guy called Kwaku and he was very handsome. So it could potentially be the influence as to why I decided to go with that name. But it's neither here nor there. <laughs> We'll move on swiftly. <laughs> Let me not embarrass myself on the big, big internet. But I was really inspired by Ocean Sims video where she has a series called Lovesick, I believe it's called. And she started off by doing like a bit of a slow renovation to the home. It was a bit run down. And I loved the concept of that. So what did Kwaku do? His parents passed away. They gave him 50k of inheritance and he bought this run down townhouse in Rochester. And again, I never, well not again, but I never, I have actually recorded this again for the second, third time probably. But anyway, he is going to live in Brightchester and I never play in Brightchester. I, I just use it for the university. So we are going to live in Brightchester in a little townhouse, which is cute. So let's actually get into like what this townhouse is looking like. As you can see, he's not impressed. The deco isn't up to par, but that's because it's terrible. Look at the state of it. The kitchen has cracks, holes everywhere. There's, there's just, yeah, I tried to make it look as distressed as possible, <laughs> but um, I think it still looks pretty okay, on the outside at least. His neighbors, I literally just copied the house and like changed up some of the features, modernized it slightly, just to make it look like that the, the neighbors kind of had the home and was able to like afford to renovate it. I really want him to meet the neighbors because I think it'll be great because they want to start a family. So I kind of thought like we could use the neighborhood stories kind of update and like speak to them about expanding the family and see how that works out for them i just think it'll be good if that kind of happens and like if they could be like hey do you want to start a family do you want to get married all that kind of stuff but this is what the townhouse was looking at from the outside i did do a speed build i think you're getting a speed build i can't remember if i recorded this i think i did so hopefully you can and the second generation is meant to live in a basement so i've done it, so like it's kind of a basement but I just wanted it to look a bit different so that's why I went with this townhouse vibe so the second generation will live in the basement but it's it's a lot better than just like a bottom of the basement kind of thing because they have their own entrance that kind of deal 
and then you have the main floor the second floor and they also have an attic as well which i thought could be useful to convert into like two extra bedrooms because there's only two bedrooms in the main part of the home so we definitely need more space because i think he will probably have four out of the three to four children i think he would probably go for four i think he wants a big happy family especially because he's a only child i think that's what he'd want and i do want to replace the door but like i said i'm going for really realistic renovations so we're gonna go in and you can see the tiles <laughs> that poking through the wall there is the grass the overgrown grass outside we've got some holes in the walls we love to see it <laughs> and he's definitely gonna replace the stairs i think he likes the f the wood flooring so he might just bring that into to the hallway here we are and as you can see in the kitchen here cracks everywhere <laughs> ignore the missing ceiling <laughs> but i probably will do similar things to what the neighbors did and kind of give him a bit of a conservatory looking dining area so like where these windows are i'm just gonna make them like modern windows saw that out as you can see just not a cute kitchen it's not cute right now but it's gonna get cute it's gonna get better he just has to like actually make some more money and also get the stuff to actually renovate the home so i have built a uh what do you call it a furniture shop and he's gonna go and do some shopping he needs a bed he desperately needs a bed and you're gonna see the little <laughs> half bathroom i haven't decided yet if i'm gonna completely knock that out and not have a bathroom downstairs and just have one upstairs i'm not sure yet but we're gonna go upstairs and you're gonna be able to see that look at those lovely cracks <laughs> and we are gonna go upstairs and then you'll get to see what the situation is looking like upstairs i didn't put too much detail upstairs because by the time i did downstairs i was like eh it's fine. You get the drift. Where am I going? Sabiro? Where are you? <laughs> Can you tell I'm a professional at these house tours? <laughs> the bathroom as well. That's upstairs. It's not, not that cute. Very basic. I was tempted to do an off the grid lot challenge thing as well on top of it because I felt like it would be realistic to like not have any gas, electric, hot water running whilst he's moved out into this home straight away. As you can see, his bed. Like I said, we're going to buy him a new one because that ain't that ain't cute that's not it <laughs> and so that was the main bedroom and then i've got the i was gonna make this into a, like a tiny bathroom but i think i'm just gonna knock that down and turn it into something another bathroom but figure out where to put the ladder for the upstairs the attic level i just have to rethink that layout but this is the second bedroom as well up in the upstairs level and then the attic space is just pretty much open so i can fit at least two bedrooms up there because what i did in the other townhouse was fit a office and a bedroom up there so i think i can do two bedrooms up there and a toilet which should work fine but what we're going to do first is get rid of all of the holes the cobwebs all that kind of stuff we're going to make it seem like he's just done a quick paint job he's got some fresh paint he did some painting and then in terms of filling up these holes and things like that i didn't do it upstairs but in the kitchen where i thought he would have tiles i would imagine you would have to do a lot more like knocking down to fill out the holes so i've put plaster do you know like the plaster wall paper basically that's what i've left in the kitchen to make it look like it's just been replastered because they filled out holes and like i imagine he's just doing this job by himself right now he doesn't really have a lot of friends and he's pretty independent i would assume like he just wanted to get it done so he's gonna wait for like plumbing and things like that to come to help him out with the stuff in the kitchen area and the bathrooms but for the most part he can do a lot of it himself and i think when it comes to the garden which is only like a small little garden area he's just gonna clear it out clear out all the weeds and things like that it's just very overgrown out there which you're going to be able to see in a second do i go outside i think i go outside but yeah i'm just gonna tidy up so it's not so overgrown as you can see <laughs> just grass everywhere i really like the creeping up ivy though so i'm tempted to just keep it even though if you're getting rid of all the weeds you'll probably get rid of that but i like it creeping up on the house so i might keep it but that is pretty much the tour of the house and the moment so let's get into build mode and actually give this home a good old renovation So the renovation is done well 
the start of it at least <laughs> he's got some freshly painted walls i've put in that plaster wallpaper for the kitchen because i just imagine that if they had to knock down tiles and like take out tiles i am no professional when it comes to this i don't know what you do technically but i just swapped the plastering because i kind of felt like it made sense and i was also wasn't sure what i wanted to go on the wall in the kitchen just yet especially because i haven't figured out how i'm going to renovate it so i feel like this is a bit realistic it's just a temporary solution for now until he gets the paint and tiles that he wants for this kitchen and I was going to get him to cook because I checked his needs and he was tired and he was hungry. But I just thought realistically, after doing all that work, do you really want to cook? No, <laughs> you do not. So I got him to get those Zuma, the Zuma takeaway thingy. And I think I got him a blackened bass. I can't remember what I got him. Um, I hate the way that the Sims deliver food and then like strolled around your house. Who told you allowed in? Who told you that's allowed? <laughs> But um, yes, he. I just wanted to get into his story a bit more because I felt like I, I didn't really get into that before. But like I said, Kwaku did get 50k of inheritance and then he spent the money on buying this home. So as it stands, like as it just was, the, <laughs> it's run down state was 34,192 and 192. I hope that makes sense. Is that how you say it? I guess. And then I thought he would leave his job with around like 2k possibly like he just had it saved to the side to help with the renovation process he knew it would be a process <laughs> and then he's now left with around like 15k essentially to finish up with some of the renovations also pays bills things like that <laughs> i don't know how much the bills are going to be necessarily just yet because obviously there's not a lot on this lot so it doesn't cost a lot and a lot of like the details and stuff in the garden especially is like debug so it doesn't really cost anything so I mentioned that he left his job. With this generation, they can actually open up a restaurant once they've le once they've reached level five in the culinary career. And for the storyline, I don't think Kwaku has ever thought about opening a restaurant. I think he has always loved the idea of cooking and he's had a passion for it, but kind of just felt like he couldn't do that as a career. So he went into like the corporate side of things. So he just worked in like a business career essentially. And then his parents passed and it really, really made him reflect on like how life sh is short and like he should really pursue his passions, things like that. So he decided to actually go through with it. So he bought this home, he was like, I'm gonna start fresh. I'm gonna use the inheritance money to buy a new home and start my family, start my legacy. And this is the plan for Kwaku. So he's bought this home because he wants to see his family grow in it and then i can imagine as well that he's starting out a new career he's probably nervous about that because he's got still the internal feeling of like is this a good career to be in is this gonna last that kind of thing so i don't believe at all that he's thinking about opening a restaurant and i like the idea of him not having an idea that he's gonna open up a restaurant until possibly later like maybe when he does get to like level three four of the cooking career he's like actually as much as i enjoy this i would love to have my own kind of business so he might actually do that i think he will but i think for the storyline i'm not going to have it so that that's his intention straight off the bat like he's definitely going to think about it a bit later and i think that gives it a bit of realism in the sense of he's then going to have to now save up for a restaurant and all that kind of stuff so yes we're going to see how that goes <laughs> and i've also put in a bunch well i say a bunch i've put in a bunch of different sims but i've made myself about five female sims that I potentially want him to be with. Well, he doesn't. He doesn't get to be with all of them. <laughs> he gets to be with one. <laughs> I do have some of my own favorites, but I don't want to say anything. We're just gonna hope that he bumps into them in the town as he's walking around and doing his own thing. He actually does end up. <laughs> he ends up cooking eggs on toast, even in that kitchen. No, no wallpaper, just plastering. And the appliances are trash. The counters are trash. And he ends up cooking eggs on toast at excellent quality. And I was like, this is perfect for the storyline. Do you see what I mean? He's a great cook. Even in these conditions, he's a great cook. But yes, I wanted to just like let you guys know this storyline for Kwaku and just give you a bit of a realistic renovation for like how he would start off. So in the next part of this legacy challenge, we're going to do some furniture shopping, get him some basic bits for the house and apply for the career. Hopefully get a promotion relatively soon <laughs> and try and complete some of these aspirations some of the rules even i mean some of the goals essentially to meet so he's going to start his gardening so i'd potentially get him to go buy some seeds and i want him to meet obviously his partner they had they get married pretty young as a young adult they actually get married so we'll see as soon as possible as like he can try and get married and they obviously want to have three to four kids so i wanted well children so i want it to happen 
sooner rather than later <laughs> i believe i've got this on long lifespan just because it allows me to be a bit more in control and then i just change it to normal as and when i feel necessary to be honest i'm gonna make him a best friend because i feel like he doesn't have loads and loads of friends but he probably has a really close friend that he's known from primary school and they probably work together in the same office i kind of like that as a storyline so he's i'm gonna try and introduce that best friend somewhere into the story but i'm gonna probably make them today as i'm editing this video and so that we can at least meet him in the next part of this series but i'm excited to get it started i'm excited to start this challenge i like the idea of having some goals to work towards and i like the idea of like just starting out a little legacy and i like the idea of it being like this big happy family it's gonna be fun to get into but i do hope you enjoyed this introduction so far and we can get into the gameplay and the goals and all that kind of stuff i'm excited for that but yeah if you like this video please do leave a like if you haven't already subscribed please do so you don't miss a video when i upload and if you want to leave a comment please do leave a comment i'd love to talk to you guys about this legacy if have you tried the family dynamics challenge let me know in the comments if you have or you haven't I'd be interested to know that as well. But until I see you on Thursday, take care. Bye.